car in the field back down the road there, and he goes, that's probably who we're looking for. Three neighbors in Argena helped put two fugitives into police custody. When the criminals tried to get away and hide, homeowners kept them at bay at gunpoint. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Karina Rubio. The busy night started when a stolen car was spotted at a Casey's gas station. The drivers got away and crashed near a field on Cemetery Road. WCI3's Ariana Williams went to where that all happened today. Ariana, how are people involved feeling? As I was knocking on doors early earlier today, several people expressed how on edge the entire community is right now. But even while shaken up, they only spoke highly of the men who helped authorities keep the neighborhood safe. And uh, he said, well, you go home, lock your doors, stay there. And he said the road's about, going, about ready to become real busy. And he, he wasn't kidding. There was Tuesday night for Mark Allen did not go how he expected. What started out as a normal day ended with he and his neighbors helping law enforcement from their home. We didn't we didn't have any idea what was going on at first. So when two men crashed a stolen car near Cemetery and School Rose in Argenta, the retired firefighter went to check it out. So I jumped in the truck, went down there, and sure enough, there was a car out in the middle of a field about 200 feet off the road and nobody around. When we found the abandoned vehicle, we didn't, wasn't quite sure where they went. Uh, it's wide open country out there for the most part, cornfields. Turns out the people police were looking for ran and hid on other people's property. Uh, we got a phone call from a area resident who said that uh, he had an individual that uh, he had at gunpoint um, outside of his residence. He believed he was trying to break into his home. Both homeowners took their safety into their own hands, meeting the criminals with firearms. He was in their backyard and he went out. The guy tried to get in the house and he had his gun and said, hey, don't you move, don't go anywhere. So if an individual is doing the right thing, uh, is legally allowed to have the weapon, uh, is trained on the weapon, um, then we actually see it as an asset for helping us in the rural areas. Community members praise Allen and his neighbors for their bravery, but Allen says it was their duty. Oh, I don't think there was any courage involved in any of it. It's just something that that uh, happened and everybody did what they would normally do and it all turned out for the best. Both suspects have been arrested and charged. Marua Police, Illinois State Police, Illinois Conservation and DeWitt Police Departments all helped Macon County Sheriff's Office in the chase.